So we've been talking about this concept of MOOCifying a course, of taking elements of a MOOC and adding them to a course you already teach. Some of us have already done this. And, and the big question is why? Like, why would anyone do this? So I'd like to begin this discussion by talking about a course I taught in spring of 2013, a course that I MOOCified. And I'd like to just take a look at some of the people affected by the MOOCification of that course. It's a writing research course. So students got into small groups, anywhere from two to five students, and then each group chose a research topic. Uh, and each group was required to present their research to the public. So every week for five weeks, each group had to come up with an element and then release it to the public via Twitter. And students chose all kinds of things for their elements, uh, videos, prezzies, taped interviews, flowcharts. One student wrote a song and recorded it. Uh, they created Jeopardy games, crossword puzzles, some did interactive activities on campus, and then they took photos or videos and uh, put them on the internet. Uh, they held Twitter chats every Wednesday night. Uh, each group created a blog or a website or a Facebook page as a place to gather the elements that they had released. The man in that picture is my father. He's 82 years old, and he was interested in the project my students did on the Erie Canal. The young man in the tree is Eric. He's homeschooled. When college professors MOOCify their courses, that means high school students, whether formally educated or homeschooled like Eric, can get a taste of college courses. Many of my students are environmental activists. Here's a shot one took at a protest at the White House. And these students love learning how to use the internet to make their voices heard. Here's Beck and Danielle, two students in the class. Their project led to a Facebook page that educated people about animals and a fundraising bake sale on campus to raise money for a local pet shelter. Here's Erin. She's an alum who graduated years ago. When we used Twitter to write a collaborative poem, she jumped in eagerly. Other alums jumped into our Twitter chats. We ended up building an alumni network to join the MOOCified course. Uh, there's me, home in my living room on a Wednesday night, participating in a lively Twitter chat with present students, former students, colleagues, and people I've never met. Here's a snowman we built in class. When we collaborated with students in Georgia and Taiwan, we kept putting pictures of snow on Twitter to show them what upstate New York looks like. Here's John, a student in the course. He's one of the students who said, oh, when you teach this course next year, uh, let me know. I want to come in and, and talk about what we did. Here's Carl. That's a video camera strapped to his head. He graduated at the end of the course, and he videotaped his walk across the stage to share it with us. At the end of the semester, I asked my students, should I do this again? Should I MOOCify again next year? 100% of them said yes. 